Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to the Chris Hunter Comedy Podcast with me, Chris Hunter. Now, who am I? Uh, I'm somebody who's fairly new to this whole stand-up thing. In fact, I'm only going to be doing my seventh gig as my next gig. So, yeah, not be doing it long at all, really. Do about one gig a month if I can. But, you know, if more come along, I'll do more. Um, so, yeah, I'm Chris. Uh, my friends call me Chico sometimes. Reason being is that my other half's brother is also called Chris. And when we first met, the first thing he ever said to me was, your name's Chico now. And sadly, that shit just stuck. So here I am, 10 years later, like a bitch, still being called Chico. So call me Chris, call me Chico, call me Nobed. It's totally up to you. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd start this comedy podcast because I like podcasts, you know, I listen to a lot of them. Uh, mostly American guys, but I listen to some English ones as well. And I thought, you know what? Fuck it, I'll give it a stab. I'll see what happens. So here I am. So... Yeah, Charlie's upstairs at the moment, my other half. She's currently streaming on the PC. That's video games, not tits, just so you know. Uh, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to come and chat with you lovely folks. I don't know how long for. Uh, I don't know how often this is going to be. Uh, I'd say it's probably going to be monthly. But, you know, let's see what happens. It could be weekly, it could be monthly, it could be twice a year. Who the fuck knows? Depends if I've got anything interesting to say. Uh, so, yeah. So hello to all three Listeners who out there, <laughs> or none, you know, I don't know how many there's going to be. So uh, yeah, what's been going on with me? Well, let's see. I've had a bit of a fun evening before, I was cooking tea as you do in the kitchen. And I hear the cat going a bit weird. So I look around and there's a the little fucker. And he's been doing some weird stuff recently. I know I seem like an old lady, lady by the way, first subject talking about a bloody cat. But you'll understand why in a minute. Because my cat... Right, he's not exactly a super old one, he's like nine or some shit like that. But for some reason recently, right, when he goes to the toilet, he's got a habit of not snipping off properly. So he'll come out and he'll start scooching along, like, what the hell's wrong with him? And you'll just see this shit smear all behind him, like some sort of terrible heart attack. And today he did that again, and he ran around and turns out, whilst I've been cooking tea, I haven't seen him. Right, Charlie's been upstairs in the bath, she hasn't seen him. And the bastard's got shit everywhere. And it's, ugh, it's on the couch, it's on the floor. It's like, what, what can we do about this? Like, have any of you guys got any ideas what to do about a cat that's shitting everywhere by accident? I mean, it's not his fault, he just doesn't snip off. He's just so fucking annoying. I'm just trying to cut my tea, and that little bastard is cooking. Fucking put shit everywhere. Ah, oh, little bastard. But anyway, it's not his fault, so I can't stay angry at him. But I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna give it a damn good go. But anyway, that's just what you need, isn't it, when you get back from work? Just come back, put the tea on, cat shit everywhere. But, uh... Yeah, speaking of work, I have been annoyed by people a lot recently. Just people in general, not people in work. People of the public. You guys, if you will. Um, I work near a place called Booths. Right? Booths, for those of you who don't know, makes people who go to Waitrose look like peasants. Right? It's a stupidly fancy supermarket. And it's nearby to work, where I work. So, you know, I thought, fuck it, I'll go there for lunch sometimes. And I do. It's not very often, but I do it. Anyway, last time I went there, uh, I was stuck. You know the self-service checkout bit? Like, I was stuck there behind some people, which is fine. You always get one or two. But this woman, my God, she made me hate people. Like, I mean, even more so than I normally do, because I normally hate people, let's be honest here. Like, she, first of all, like, it was a Tuesday, Tuesday lunchtime. She stood there in fucking yoga gear, right? Not just the yoga pants, the full lot, which already pissed me off. And then she's using the self-service checkout with a little bratty kid. And on this, right, she hasn't got a basket. She hasn't got a little trolley with 10 items or less. Oh, no, no, no. She's got a proper trolley with proper shit in it. Right, that's annoying enough already. But then, then, right, she has a little scrot of a kid helping her scan the stuff. And you might have guessed, I don't really like kids. So she had a little scrot of a kid helping her scan stuff. Beep, beep, motherfucking beep this little kid every time. And then she realised, like the dumb bitch that she was, she forgot something. So she runs off... God knows where, right? Probably to the bloody Pilates section or whatever. And then she leaves the kids scanning some more shit. And obviously this kid's stupid. Kid's about six or seven. I don't know. I don't know how to judge kid age. But anyway, she scans the same shit twice so the machine stops working. Right, so then not only is this kid on her own, then the mum's running off to get some shit, but then they have to send a bloody helper person to come and help this kid. Who's then clogging up more of my time from a lunch break. I'm like, I'm just like, dude, I want to eat my fucking potato. Go away. So... Guy comes to help, the mum comes back, she's clogging up even more time, right? And the worst part was, right, she speaks to this kid. Right, first of all, she's shouting at the kid, pretty much. 
Oh, you're an idiot. Why are you doing this? Blah, blah, blah. Right, first of all, don't leave your kid. You're an up. But also, right, she says to her, right, come on, Jemima, let's go. Right. Just let that soak in for a second, right? She called this poor bastard kid Jemima. Right, now that might, that might be normal to you guys, right? But to me, Jemima is a dog's name. I had a dog called Jemima when I was a kid. So whenever I hear that, it's either A, dog, or B, pretentious cunt. And I'm going to say that this woman was definitely the latter. Oh, God. People. I just... There's too many of them. We need a cull. I'm telling you, man. We need a fucking cull. Ah, oh. Like, anybody who watches, like, Love Island, for example. If you watch Love Island and I know you, do me a favour. Like, just introduce yourself to some cyanide or some shit. Because we need less people like that. You know, only if in your true heart of hearts you enjoy that show. You, you aspire to be the individuals on that show. Those orange, useless, muscle, fucking sacks of shit. <clears throat> I don't like those people. <laughs> anyway, what the hell am I talking about now? Like I said, this might not be a very long one. I don't really know what I'm doing for the first one, so I'm just going to keep talking. Uh, oh yeah, so I've been busy this week. I've uh, well, finally, me and Charlie, after 10 years of being together, and me after 14 years of wanting to go, I'm finally going to Japan. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the truth that is happening. I am going to Japan. And saying it out loud, it feels fucking awesome, <laughs> because it's been so... God damn long. So I'm going to be going for Christmas and New Year to Japan. Which means I've been trying to learn some Japanese. Right? And to be fair, I've been trying to dabble for years. And it's it's never gone great, I'm going to be honest. It's never been perfect. I'm still trying to find the right method, but I think I'm getting somewhere now. And you know, it's interesting when you're trying to learn Japanese sometimes. Because you come across some words and you're like, no way. That's got to be, that's got to be somebody English just taking the piss. You know? For example... Right, one word, Japanese word of the day for you lovely people. One word that I learnt was Fukuno. Right, and you want to know what Fukuno means? Fukuno means not possible. Right? How awesome is that? Can you imagine like, being a kid and you get told to do your room or whatever? And your mum says, oh, go clean your room, it's a mess. Fukuno. Right, she, she would give you fucking daggers, I'm telling you now. And you could say, you could say to her, what? I'm just learning my Japanese. I'm just practicing. It means it's not possible. Please don't hit me, mummy. Put down the belt. You know, so Japanese can be handy in both ways. Not just forgetting around swear words with your parents, but, you know, whatever you want. There's all sorts of weird Japanese words out there. And if you want, every week I could give you another different one. But this week, you've had your word. It's Fukuno. Now, I went to a party the other week. Uh, it was a 40th anniversary party. 40 years married how in the fuck do you do that for 40 years i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna i know i am but <laughs> how <laughs> how can you do that for 40 years i mean it was a nice party though it's nice to see everybody there everyone's smiling but i got told a story at that party that i loved and i'm going to share with you and i'm probably going to butcher it because i'm not the best storyteller in the world as you can probably tell i speak quick and a mumble it's not a good combination but we're going to power through aren't we so i was speaking to a friend and uh, she likes to go to concerts and stuff, you know. And she went to this concert in, I think it was the MEN Arena or somewhere like that. And she's a nice person, right? Let's let's call her A, right? A's a nice person. And she sees this guy in front of her, you know, in the row in front of her, and he's sat with a big coat on, and he's got his hood up and everything. And she thinks, oh god, it's it's not exactly cold in here. He must be a bit special or something. I'll speak to him. Right? So she says, hi, yeah. Do you uh? Do you go to many concerts? And apparently the guy's like, uh, yeah, a few. She's like, oh, that's good. Which ones have you been to? You know, thinking he's special. And he starts listing off these bands that he's been to see. And she's been to a few of them as well, you know. And um, she's like, oh, that, that, you know, that, that's good news. Uh, are you here on your own? It's like, no, you're here with my dad. And then as she's talking to this guy, somebody else walks in front of him. And he looks at him and gives a bit of a double take. And he goes, it's you, isn't it? And apparently the guy looks at him and goes, yeah. You're sort of like disheartened. He's like, oh, it's you, hang on a minute. And then apparently before you know it, there's a queue of people wanting pictures with this guy, this poor bastard. And it turns out, right, A then says to this guy's dad, should I know who he is or something? Because, you know, he's got a big queue. People want to get the picture with him. And he goes, 
Yeah, he's in Game of Thrones. And she's like, oh, I don't watch that. It's only fucking Samwell Tarly. She was sat behind Sam Tarly. You know, Big Sam. I forgot his real name. Sorry, I think it's Mike or something. I don't know. But she was sat behind him. Fucking hunk of shit laptop just stopped recording. Gah. Right, where was I? Uh, so, oh, so yeah. Yeah, so she was sat behind Sam Tarly. Right, she had no idea who he was. Like, Game of Thrones. Fucking biggest TV show in the world at the moment. And she had no idea. I mean... I don't give a fuck what band was playing that night. I wanted to see that event. That would be amazing to see. Can you imagine a queue of people around the MEN arena all wanting to meet Sam? All because of some woman who had no idea who he was. I just was just being nice, you know, I thought he was a bit special, so I had to have a chat with him. <laughs> I love that story. Now, like I said, I listened to a few podcasts and I thought that every time I do one of these, I'm gonna try and promote someone else's because then the three of you that might listen to this, hell, who am I kidding? The two most likely one of you who will listen to this might appreciate a different one. So I want to recommend to you a podcast today called Diminishing Returns. Right, This is a podcast by some friends of mine. They uh, they watch films. They do sort of film review type things, but they do funny ones. And then they talk about the film they just watched. So each episode's themed on what they've just watched. So whether it's Alien or you know uh, Despicable Me or whatever. And then at the end of the, the podcast, they do their own pitches of what they would do for a sequel or prequel to that film. And it's a cracking one. You should give it a listen to. It's bloody funny. It's pretty smart at times. And it's also goofy most of the time. And you've got to love goofy. Now, I think I might wrap it up around here this time because it's about, what time are we on? 11.50-ish, you know? That's long enough for a first one, I think. It's not, I don't got that much to talk about, let's face it. So... Like I said, I'll do this weekly or monthly based on how much I've got to do. Uh, if you guys have got any questions to ask me, then if you head on over to facebook.com forward slash Chris Hunter Comedy, you'll find yourself with the, uh, on my comedy page. And on the top post, there's a pin post. It'll take you to Survey Monkey. If you go there, you can ask me any questions you want. And I'll do my best to answer it. I'll do my bloody best. Um, so yeah, drop me a question there. My next gig is going to be the 1st of November in the Albion in Warrington. So if any of you are interested in going to see that, it's going to be a 10 minute train wreck because I've not written it yet and it's in a week, maybe two. Uh, so yeah, let's see how that goes. So thanks for listening, folks. Hopefully next time I'll have a bit more to talk about, but I hope you've liked what this is. hope you've understood what I've said and I haven't mumbled my way through it and spoke way too quick. And I will see you all next time. Thanks again. You listen to the Chris Hunter Comedy Podcast. See you later. Bye bye.